The grave impact of the pandemic on education and mental health of the children. Ladies and gentlemen, being a student, this is a topic that I speak very heartily of because it springs from personal experience. Now, in my very own country, Uganda, 15th March 2020, so a population of 15 million learners sent back home because of the pandemic. At this point, we have got disillusioned students stuck at home with uncertainty of their futures regards to education. There's been an increase in the cases of early marriages and there's been an increase in the number of school dropouts. Now, I once read an article that said the collapse of a nation simply needs crippling of the education sector. Because in the hands of such engineers, buildings collapse. In the hands of such judges, justice is lost. In the hands of such economists, money is lost. And in the hands of such um, religious scholars, humanity dies. And this saddens me very much. It's why at this point I assert that online education has been to be ex has got to be explored. We're in the 21st century where everything has been digitalized. We could learn through um, computers, through smartphones, through televisions and different means. Now the fallacy behind this notion is that not all homesteads can afford these devices. And I agree, which is why we should um, we should have blended learning, we should have hybrid learning. Those that can afford these devices, let them have them. For those who cannot afford, let the schools be open for let the schools be open for them. The ministries of health can thoroughly inspect the schools to make sure they're actually following the standard operating procedures. And this can only happen where there is massive vaccination for both the teachers and the students. Now, if I am to link education and mental health, um, when this Schools were closing. Not all homes are ideal and not all homes are perfect. The students who are coming home to homes that are facing um, domestic violence, to homes that are barring their loved ones, and to homes that are financially challenged. And this triggered psychological distress among the students. We were seeing um, depression, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD in these students. And how can we address this? Well, first of all, I believe mental health has got to be um, there's need to raise awareness because in many African communities, people believe this is a foreign and, you know, kind of Eurocentric idea, which I don't believe. So there's a need to shift the culture around how people view mental health. Secondly, the influential figures among these children's lives were looking at teachers and parents. Let us let them know that mental health is very important and that they should always check out for the mental health of their children. Um, I find it very odd and very ironic that physical education is taught in schools, but mental health education is not taught in schools. How are these children supposed to cope up when they do not know about mental health? People say a healthy body is a healthy mind, but I believe a healthy mind is a healthy body. And lastly, we need to spread hope. We need to be kind. We need to be loving to people. The, the, the universe is already harsh enough to certain people. Let us be that ray of hope that is going to come forth for somebody. Thank you very much for listening to me.